Squarespace newsletter tutorial, how to create a newsletter as a beginner on Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build a newsletter. So let's jump right in. Now I have this website on Squarespace and the first step to building our newsletter is a subscription box for our customers. So to do that, you're gonna click on edit on the top left. Once you do that, this will open up your website in full and you can just go on ahead and go into any section. Now I want to add a subscription box at the bottom. So I will click on add section. And then once you click on add section, you will see multiple different types of sections. Now from here in the left, you want to go on ahead and search for contact. Now in your contact info, you want to just choose any template that you like. So a contact us or subscribe to our newsletter type of email, email collecting tool. So what I'm going to do is we are going to be using Let's say I'm going to use this one over here. And once I've added this section, I'm going to change this a bit because I want this to be focused on people receiving my newsletters. And you just want to provide your customers or your viewers some idea of what benefit or what value they will be receiving if they subscribe to your newsletter. So if I go on over here, I'm just gonna click on the heading and I'm just going to add subscribe to our newsletter like this and then after that we're going to write a bit of a description so i'm not going to make this too long i'm just going to add you know some basic value that i'm going to be providing in my newsletter so i'll uh, learn all about the latest fashion trends and styles and get exclusive discounts on our mailing list like this and then after that we have a name field that is required email and message field now you can always edit this as well so to edit this just click on the dialog box and on the top left you will have a pen icon you can click on that and i'm going to change this form name into newsletter subscription so it makes sense for me whenever i am looking at it later and then the button text, instead of being send, I wanted to say subscribe like this because people are subscribing to the newsletter. They are not, you know, sending me a message like this. And then after that, I'm going to edit the form field, which are like the name, email and message. I'm going to edit that and I'm going to remove this field of messaging and I am not going to make the name required or you can even delete the naming field if it's not required post submit what kind of message should you get so after the submission i want people to say thank you for subscribing check out your mail for your new subscriber for your new subscriber discount and i'm just going to you know fix this up like this and then after that i am just going to go ahead and go into the design you can you know change up the design a little if you want you can make it like this, like this, you know, you have a bunch of different options. So I'm just going to go with a simple design and then you have your button alignment. So I'm going to make this to be a maybe a centered button like this. And then you can choose if this is a light box. So a light box is whether or not it should be opened up or if it should already be open. I'm going to keep this as opened up. And then once I've completed that, I will click on save on the top left. Now, once I have completed building my actual newsletter subscription, I can get started with Squarespace newsletter. So I'm going to click on exit over here. And once I click on exit, I can click on marketing on the left panel over here. Once I click on marketing, you will see you will have your marketing tools and email campaigns. Now we have a promotional pop up. We have announcement bars, URL builders and more, but we've already created our newsletter subscription and we want to get started with emailing to our newsletter subscribers so we're going to go into email campaigns over here and click on create from here you can choose the type of email you want if it's a welcome email a seasonal email a automation email or a regular email that is going to be sent to all of your email subscribers now i want to send a thank you email and instead of this being after a 
purchase let's say i want this to be um you know after they have um subscribed and i want to provide them with a discount so i'm going to click on repeat customer email i'm going to edit this and click on use this template now once i've opened up this template you guys can see on the right there are some automation settings so i'm going to edit those first and then this is based on the purchase of a product now i'm going to turn this off and you guys can see it could be a specific product it could be any one product i don't want to use this particular type of automation so i'm not going to use this one i'm going to use a different mail i'm going to click on create and it could be based upon a subscriber activity a customer activity so i want this to be on subscriber activity and whenever uh someone subscribes i want to send an email so i'm going to use this as a welcome email and then after that, I am going to use a template like this one, pretty similar. And I'm going to click on use this template. And then we're going to go into when a person signs up to, let's say, our site, all subscribers select mailing list. So I can choose a particular mailing list or leads people who accept marketing and haven't made a purchase from you yet. I want this to be for all my new subscribers. Then I want to immediately mail them. And then I am going to go back and we're going to start editing some of the email elements. So I'm going to click on over here and I'm going to add welcome to the Dirt Den newsletter. Enjoy 10% off with our code and then in your shop now button, you're going to click on it. And on the left panel over here, you're going to link your web address, whatever is your web address for your Squarespace website. Then you have your styles on the right as well, as well as some of the text and button styles. We have this image, which I'm going to replace. I can click on select from library and I can upload my own image. I can go into the free images and use one of the free images as well. So I'm just going to use a free image from here. And I think I'm going to go on ahead and go into the email. And then after this, I'm going to create my own image section that's, you know, broad. And I'm going to add an image, select or go for a free image, depending on your, depending on the size of your business. If you have, you know, a lot of your own content, then you can add that. But I'm going to upload a file instead like this. So once I've done that, I can edit the subject line. That's very important because that's how it's going to appear in your customer's mailbox. On the right, you will have your subject line. Now, this is inaccurate because this is a welcome mail. So I'm going to edit this and then I'm going to add welcome to their Den's newsletter. And then I'm just going to insert the customer first name. And you can also choose to add the full name, the full first name, the mailing list name, the site title as well. And then the preview is here's a special discount for you, which I think is pretty accurate. Then you're going to add your sender details, which are going to be your actual business name or a business representative name and then your sender mail as well. So whichever email that you are using as your business mail, you're going to insert that and email from free services are likely to be marked as spam, but I'm just doing this as a sample. And then you're gonna get a confirmation code, which you're going to verify. And just like that, you can get started with emailing and sending newsletters on Squarespace. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Okay.